there's always this suggestion of uniformity. And I think the forum is the alternative to that. Giving an image of the richness and the diversity of civilizations. Exactly the way it is organized, with no civilization having the upper hand. They all have their voices and their articulations. That in itself is a message. Diversity forgets that it is a product of a permanent dialogue which allows it to regenerate, to regenerate and by doing so, to regenerate humanity. Seven years ago, in one of the declarations, the Rhodes Forum declared inevitability of the major economical financial crisis. We were the only who declared that. It is obvious that the unstrained neoliberal economy resulted in a casino, capitalism, totally detached from the real economy. Consumerism beyond boundaries, where we destroy the environment and the economic systems, where you have a few people controlling the world and the rest of the world just guessing where they'll get the next food. The leaders of today, they're backtracking on their promises. They have changed policies because I think they, they, their policies have been working for it. A few work. that they promised the people of the country that they will work for their prosperity. Not they're going to just rule on the ex on their expenses. Something has to be done about it. The fact is that we are living in the mutual house, the home, and the name is Earth. So it is not possible that one part of this house was happy and the other was in dreadful situation. We need to remember our responsibility, our responsibility for the future generations. You know, the strong feature of this forum, there are a lot of ideas. Remember the history, the idea can change the world. Without any prejudice, to religions, to cultures, to nations, we are considering the most essential questions of contemporary world.